I haven't really seen a sufficient assessment by someone who partakes in the gig economy offering their perspective on the ad featuring a retooling of Dolly Parton's famous nine to five song in the form of five to nine. So I'm going to offer that here in this video. For those of you who don't know Dolly Parton, which I hope is few and far between, she's a music icon, she's an American treasure, but she is one of the most highly liked, well-respected, public figures here in this country. She gives back for children's literacy. She also contributed a lot of money to help fund a coronavirus vaccine. In addition to being a renowned singer, philanthropist, the woman is just plain old modest. Recently, the Tennessee state legislature proposed constructing a statue in her honor. And in response to that, she was grateful for the recommendation, yet basically issuing a statement to cancel the efforts, to not pursue it, because it's more than just about herself, all her efforts. So what could possibly be wrong with this woman, this American icon? Her grave mistake in the eyes of a few critics of the Super Bowl ad? She gave and lent credence to the gig economy. A sampling of the lyrics reads like this. Working five to nine, you've got passion and a vision. Cause it's hustling time, a whole new way to make a living. Gonna change your life, do something that gives it meaning with a website that is worthy of your dreaming. And Squarespace, for those of you who don't know, is a web hosting service that a lot of upstart companies and freelancers use. Well, you got dreams and you know they matter. Be your own boss, climb your own ladder. That moment's getting closer by the day. And you're in the same boat with a lot of your friends, launching ideas you all believe in. The tide's gonna turn and it's all gonna roll your way. Those reworked lyrics apparently did not sit well with several writers. How dare Dolly Parton give credence to the gig economy, which as we all know, is growing in popularity. And of course, it's going to attract a lot of hatred by people who dislike this lifestyle, who dislike people having worker freedom, who dislike people choosing not to be unionized. One headline from Newsweek reads like this. Dolly Parton is awesome, but this Super Bowl ad shows we live in a dystopia. If you think about this ad for only five seconds between beers and football, it will seem kitschy and cool, especially because Dolly Parton is generally awesome and this specific song is a classic. But if you ponder the spot for five minutes or more, you may start to sense the disturbing assumptions and propaganda baked into the message that they reflect both a dystopian reality and insane ideology that we have somehow come to accept as quote, normal, end quote, dot, dot, dot. But that's not an option for a lot of people. So the real message here valorizes the side hustle economy and normalizes its radical assumption that workaholism is necessary and that there is no separation between work and the rest of your life. Another headline from NBC Think reads like this. Dolly Parton's 2021 Super Bowl commercial is playing a rich man's game. It reads like this. Rather than paying homage to the spirit of the original song, which made no bones about the exploitative nature of the daily grind, the commercial for Squarespace features a tinny ode to the side hustle. Its office workers are portrayed as being overjoyed to continue working after hours. Their side hustles are painted as freeing, fun and fulfilling, and the song itself encourages them to quote, be your own boss, climb your own ladder, end quote. She proceeds like this. It's a perfect storm of gig economy propaganda. Oh gosh. And it's a particularly disappointing message to hear from someone like Parton who once warned us, quote, you're just a step on the boss man's ladder, end quote. The ironic thing about this criticism of the ad, as pointed out by Fox News' Brian Flood, is that this writer is actually a freelancer and so-called activist herself. Obviously, those two criticisms shouldn't impugn Dolly Parton's character, nor the gig economy. She should be given kudos for recognizing the power of people who want to be innovative, want to find and start a new gig and something that goes from a side hustle and blossoms into a full-time career. The misunderstanding that both these writers have is that they fail to realize that side hustles are not permanent. They're actually ever changing. And if you put your mind to it, if you work hard and yes, you're going to have to sacrifice something. That's what every business owner has to do. But if you're very diligent, if you're persistent and you have perseverance, you can turn that side hustle into a full-time gig, that's profitable, enjoyable, on your own terms, and that ultimately pays its dividends, not only for yourself, but also the clients or people you work with. We're going to see a lot of propaganda trying to deride the gig economy, deride people who partake in the gig economy, and it's already starting. That's why it's important to recognize and fight back any efforts to 
mischaracterize the gig economy, mischaracterize the potential of side hustles that blossom into full-time gigs, and stand up for our fellow gig workers. I don't have Squarespace personally. I'm more of a WordPress gal, but I commend them for putting out this ad. I want to give Squarespace kudos for being brave in these in these really challenging times and putting out an ad in favor of the gig economy. And as more people try to navigate their return to the economy, maybe they're sick and tired of their nine to five, perhaps they wanna change in their work-life balance and they want something that's more flexible, people are gonna be contemplating the gig economy and that should be welcomed. Gestures like that by Squarespace and by extension Dolly Parton should be welcomed. Make sure that gig workers are heard, whether in the public square, in campaigns, this should be normalized. Think their independence and this should be celebrated. What did you think of this video? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and hit that notification tab as well. That's a great way to stay attuned to new videos here on my channel.